Hey y'all, it is Whitley from The Pretty Patch and I am back with another video on propagating plants. I'm saying it. Propagating plants. To simplify things, it basically means starting a new plant from one that you already have. We're going to talk about why, when, and how to propagate your plants. And I'm going to show you the easiest two plants to propagate. And while I have y'all here, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Subscribe to this channel because you know it's the best. But, and, and let's get into this hair. Don't worry about that. Just subscribe to this channel and I'm going to give you a little hint on this hair soon. Okay, y'all so why you should propagate your plants number one is because it's too big or overflowing something like this one i like my plants to overflow so i'm not really too worried about it um number two is you want the same type of plant but you don't want to purchase another one so you can just create the same as that plant out of one of the plants that you already have at home and the last reason is because it'll make a great gift for your, your friends or family to make them plant moms or dads. When you should propagate your plant is basically when it becomes too bushy or too long and overflowing or when you want to make another plant out of the same exact plant that you have or possibly make it a gift, whichever comes first. How to propagate your plant. So, pothose plant is the easiest plant to propagate. Basically, what you're looking for is a node. A node looks something like this. It is found on the stem of the plants. Well, basically down the vine of these type of plants. You'll find the node and you'll cut right below it. So I'm going to cut my node, this plant. I'm gonna cut it from down here, it's easiest. So I'm gonna cut it from the bottom of this plant, but I'm gonna cut it right below the node. Don't worry about hurting the plant. I used to always worry about that. I promise you're not hurting her. So after you get your cutting, you'll place it in some water and let it sit. I typically place mine in like the window seal and just let it sit for a little bit. And then probably about after two weeks, your plant will look like this and I have a root on it. And she'll be ready to be placed in soil. However, things to remember, remember when propagating your plant. So you want to make sure that you are changing her water every couple of days. And it can be water from the tap. Tap water has a lot of oxygen in it. So once the oxygen evaporates, the water becomes just stale water. And it starts to stink and they don't like that. So change the water. Another thing is once you decide to place this plant inside of soil, remember to keep the soil moist for at least a couple of weeks until the plant can get acclimated into the soil because you don't want to shock the plant where you take it out of this water. It's been in this water for weeks. You take it out of this water, place it in to soil and it dies because it's not used to getting water once a week like your regular house plants. Another easy plant to propagate is the snake plant. I'm gonna show y'all a different way of propagating this plant. It's way different than and easier than the one that I just showed you with the pothos plant. But this is my baby Kaylin, and I'm going to propagate her to give to some of my friends who really wanted a snake plant. So just stay tuned. So this plant has been growing for about four months now and it's ready to be propagated. And right here, I'm showing you those really healthy, healthy roots. Right here, you see me loosening up the roots. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can because sometimes they're a little bit fragile, but I'm loosening them up. 
all over. And then I'm basically gonna pop a piece of the plant off. It's kind of tough because it's a really, really thick root under there. Now I have a piece of this beautiful plant with these healthy roots and I'm gonna place it right in this pot. Now I'm adding more dirt and I'm going to water it. And now you have a brand new plant. This is the easiest way to propagate a snake plant. So right here, I'm doing the process all over again, but I slowed the video down just a little bit so you all can follow me. Now I have three beautiful snake plants, two to give away and one to keep.